Yo, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm giving you guys five tips that will make you instantly better on your Nintendo Switch. So you can get as good as this. But before this video starts, I want to give a shout out to the person on the screen right now. If you want a shout out, whoever comments improve the most in the comments gets a shout out in the next video. And be sure you use code ZENTER in the Fortnite item shop as this really helps out the channel. And I really appreciate it. It literally takes 5 seconds, so yeah. Alright, so let's head right into tip 1. Alright, so tip 1 is that you want to always try and learn new things. So what do you mean by this? Um, So basically what I mean is if you're already good at things, Things, you shouldn't be practicing them and you should instead try to learn new things so let's say you're really good at doing double edits right try and head on and go to triple edits and if you get that down maybe go to quadruple edits or what's this called and yeah always try to improve that was just an example of course it's the same with retakes so yeah you want to always try and improve and get better all right so i'm here from tip one so like i said you want to practice on things that you're not so good at but of course if you guys need to practice aim and stuff like that i have some maps right here that i will be going through with you guys right now so the first map i'll be going over with you guys is this map by Vizalu. he makes great maps and he has made this aim trainer map so if you're not that good at aiming you can try out this map and if you're not that good at editing this map is good too and this map right here these maps are really great so yeah if you guys need to practice on editing or aiming these maps would be really good for you guys so yeah i'm gonna give you guys the map code for map one right here map code for map two right here and map code for this one so yeah try them out guys these are the maps that i use personally so these are the maps that i use to practice on all of these things so yeah if you guys want to get better at certain things make sure you check out these maps and yeah you want to learn how to time your edits perfectly and just everything like building and 90s and stuff you want to learn how to time everything perfectly so like 90s you know when to place them so it, so it doesn't misplace and like edits you know when to do these edits so like you saw there i did a cone and then i double edited and then i placed the wall and then i edited the wall these small things just makes you better so yeah you want to practice how you time everything and yeah all right so for this next tip is you want to go to your settings and when you're in settings you want to find the best sensitivity as possible because this will make you as good as possible so yeah i feel like i have the best nintendo switch settings so if you guys need to copy these go ahead you can always just lower it a little bit or make it a little bit faster if you think it's too slow i think everything is just stable with my settings and it's just perfect but yeah you guys can go ahead and copy it and yeah, these are linear settings, guys. So, yeah. Alright, so this next tip is also in my settings. So, if you play on non-claw, you want to make sure you, you don't take your finger off your sticks as much as possible. These are my binds, and I've binded a lot of the things that are necessary to not take off your sticks. I've binded them to some binds that makes more sense. So, yeah. For example, edit. My edit is on left stick, and I confirm my edits with R and reset with L. This does so I don't have to take my finger off the right stick when I'm editing because Fortnite automatically push your confirm on A and edit on A. So this way you have to take your finger off the right stick which makes you really inconsistent. I also have my jump on R so this way I don't jump on B which is also the default that Fortnite puts it on. So unless you're playing claw you need to be putting these binds on something else that makes more sense so you don't get so inconsistent when playing Fortnite. So yeah if you guys need to copy my binds go ahead head yeah i've set up everything so it will work out so yeah and because you guys know that controller is pretty limited and it doesn't have that many options so yeah but i'm gonna give you guys some time to copy it right now or you guys can just pause it if you need to 
Hey, yeah, my dead zone is on 13 on both. All right, so the next thing is also in your settings, but it's in game. So you want to go to game and you want to go down to preferred item slots and you want to make sure that you have this on something that makes sense. Um, So when you pick up something, you can just automatically switch it. This isn't a problem for like, for example, keyboard players because keyboard players, they can just press one button on the keyboard and then they're already on the gun that they need to use. So yeah, it's different for control but this is how i have set up mine so yeah if you think this is really good you can go ahead and copy it but some people also like to have like their smg here instead and their ar here but i prefer my smg here and my ar here and then my shotgun in the middle and then like minis and med kits so yeah if you guys need to copy this go ahead and do that too so yeah guys that was the tips but don't leave yet because i'm gonna be leaving you guys off with some gameplay that shows you how good you can become when you learn these tips you guys can see how good you can become when actually using my tips so yeah and with that being said if you guys could use code zenter in the fortnite item shop that would be very appreciated i really appreciate everybody using my code and literally takes five seconds to type in and it really supports me a lot and i really appreciate everybody using my code and yeah with all that being said could we get 1000 likes on this video if we could do that that would be amazing but don't leave yet because like i said i will be showing you guys how good you can become with these tips so yeah let's get right into the gameplay